Introduction to making bundles of 10 and counting from 10 to 20. Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this topic. Come on, let us see what are we going to learn in this video. What is a bundle of 10 and how do we count objects more than 9? Choto's mother needs some wooden sticks for a bonfire in the evening. Choto gets some wooden sticks from the forest. Choto, can you count and tell me how many wooden sticks are there? Yes, mummy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and mm, I don't know how to count ahead. These are more than 9 wooden sticks. Don't worry Chotu, I will tell you how to count beyond 9. If we add one more wooden stick to 9 wooden sticks, then we get 10 wooden sticks. I see. Do you know Chotu that what is any group of 10 called? No mummy, what do we call it? Kids, do you know what is a group of 10 called? Come on, let us see. Bundle of 10 This means that if the number of items is 10, then we can say that it is in a bundle of 10. Can you spot some objects in this room which are in a bundle of 10, Chotu? Yes, mummy, these are 10 glasses. So we can call their group a bundle of 10. Similarly, those books are also 10. So they are also making a bundle of 10. Right, mummy? Yes, Chotu. You are absolutely correct. Very good. Now let's count the remaining wooden sticks. These are 10 sticks. So let's make their bundle of 10 like this. One bundle of 10 and one more wooden stick make 11 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and two wooden sticks make 12 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and three wooden sticks make 13 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and four wooden sticks make 14 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and five wooden sticks make 15 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 6 wooden sticks make 16 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 7 wooden sticks make 17 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 8 wooden sticks make 18 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 9 wooden sticks make 19 wooden sticks. And one bundle of 10 and 10 more wooden sticks make two bundles of 10 and that makes 20 wooden sticks. So Chotu, as soon as we have 10 objects, we make their bundle and count open objects till 9. As soon as we get another wooden stick after 19, we make another bundle of 10 which gives us two bundles of 10. That means I got 20 wooden sticks. <laughs> yes, Chotu, you are absolutely correct. Now go and wash your hands. You also count the number of objects around by making bundles of 10. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned what is a bundle of 10 and how do we count objects ahead of 9. In the next video, we will see some more examples of counting by making bundles of 10. Till then, bye friends! Interesting examples of counting from 10 to 20. So children, in the previous video, we learned how to make bundles of 10 and learned how to count objects more than 9 in number. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of how to count objects more than 9 in number by making bundles of 10. Chotu has won a lot of trophies in athletics. 
These trophies are kept on a table in his house. Today, Chotu and Aarti will be going to school together. So, Aarti is waiting at Chotu's place. At that time, she notices Chotu's table and by then, even Chotu comes ready for school. Wow, Chotu! You have so many trophies. Yes, Aarti. Every year, I participate in athletics in school. It is a lot of fun. Next year, you too participate. Now, let's quickly go to the school. Yes, Chotu, let's go. So, children, can you tell me how many trophies does Chotu have? Come on, let us count together. These are 10 trophies and we can make one bundle of 10 trophies. Apart from this, there are 4 more trophies. This means that Chotu has one bundle of 10 and 4 more trophies. That is 14 trophies in total. Even you had the same answer, right? Very good. Come on, now let us go to Chotu and Aarti school. A cleanliness drive is being carried out at their school today. For this, Chotu and Aarti have been assigned the job of collecting plastic bottles from their school and its surrounding areas. Come on, let us see how many bottles each of them have collected. First, let us count the number of bottles that Aarti has collected. These are 10 bottles. That is one bundle of 10. And there are 5 more bottles. So, a bundle of 10 and 5 are 15 bottles. This means that Aarti has collected a total of 15 bottles. Even you counted in the same way, right? So now let's count the number of bottles that Chotu has collected. This is one bundle of 10 bottles and this is another bundle of 10 bottles. These are two bundles of 10. So these are 20 bottles. This means that Chotu has collected a total of 20 bottles. Did you understand children? Similarly, by making a bundle of 10 bottles, we can count till any number between 9 and 20. That was all for today. In this video, we counted objects more than 9 by making bundles of 10. In the next video, we will see few more examples and the commonly made mistakes that should be avoided while counting objects more than 9. Till then, bye friends. Interesting examples and common mistakes while counting from 10 to 20. So children, in the previous video, you counted objects by making bundles of 10. In this video, we will see some more examples and some common mistakes that should be avoided while counting objects that are more than 9 in number. Today is Pinky and Chotu's parents' wedding anniversary. And that's why Pinky and Chotu decide to make a card for their parents. Pinky needs some objects to make the card and she makes a list of these objects. Chotu, we need all of these objects to make a card. Can you go quickly and get all these objects from the nearby shop, please? Meanwhile, I will start making the card. Okay, Pinky. I will go and get them. Chotu quickly gets the object and returns. He has brought two different colored sheets of paper, three colorful ribbons and eight colorful pens. Here you go, Pinky. Oh no, Chotu. You just got three ribbons and eight pens. This is too less. Did you not read the list properly? But Pinky, this was what written in the list. No, Chotu. Show me the list. See this, Pinky. Children, out of Pinky and Chotu, who do you think is correct? Come on, let's see. See, first two sheets of paper is written in the list, which you have brought correctly. Tell me what is written below that. One and two, which means three colorful ribbons. Oh no, Chotu. You added one and two. We don't read this number like this. Here one means one bundle of ten. That means ten ribbons. And two means two more ribbons. So in total it becomes twelve ribbons. 
understood. Oh, I see. Oh no, I read the number of pens also incorrectly. I added one and seven, and that's why I got eight pens. So now, can you tell me the correct number of pens? Yes, one means one bundle of ten, and seven means seven more pens. So total seventeen pens, right, Pinky? Yes, Chotu, you are absolutely right. Come on, I will quickly go and get more pens and ribbons. Okay, Chotu. Thank you. So, children, now even you can read two-digit numbers correctly, like Chotu, right? Come on, let's look at another example. These are some flowers. The number of these flowers is written below them. Can you identify and tell me this number? Yes. This is one bundle of ten flowers and nine more flowers. That means in total nineteen flowers. Very good, children. That was all for today. In this video, we saw some more examples and common mistakes while counting objects that are more than nine in number, and also saw how to write two-digit numbers. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Bye, friends.